wow. Look at all these mosquitoes around me. Get it bad. Mosquitoes are very bad. Mosquitoes are very bad. They're just swarming me. But this is a shot, uh, 360 shot that goes all the way around where I'm at. But I'm in near the river system right now. It just goes on. Look how dense it is. This river system area is really amazing. If you notice, uh, this a little point of there's a point to show everybody out there. But um, I have with me what are called the the hiker thermocells, and I'm gonna tell you right now, hands down, this is the best thermocell product out there. You can put it on a little butane little canister, and off you go, and so if you're going to be really, really stationary, like camping or anything like that, or hiking and, and just kind of a, a base camp type deal, that is the best thing on the market. And they'll run you like $40 a piece, but man, I'm telling you, get you three or four of these, put them in your, in your base camp. They are awesome. You don't hear so many mosquitoes no more. Like I was just over there a little ways and you just heard mosquitoes left and right.
Oh, I'm gonna get caught in the freaking rain. Damn. We got caught in the rain. And it's uh, hot, muggy, and foggy, and hopefully the camera doesn't fog up from being inside the vehicle right now. So I had to abort the mission and get out of it, get out of it, because you know what happens to electronics when electronics get in the rain. So we're gonna move on down just a little bit more and uh, get some AC rolling in here so it don't fog up everything. And uh, yeah, I took her harness off. I think we're me and Indy gonna stay in the truck. Yep. See, right. And I will say this though, man, the mosquitoes are out bad. Yeah, the rain was supposed to come a, a little bit earlier today, but uh, kind of drug around and poked around, and we decided to come out anyway. And, and man, I'm telling you, so we heard a couple of thunder cracks, and uh, it was like we looked at each other like, okay, maybe we can finish the trail, but you know how that goes. So we got we got caught in it. I had to rip the camera off uh, tripod and whole nine yards on that. I had to stow it in the backpack so it don't get destroyed by the water. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and cut loose and we're going to push on down the road a little bit more because there's an area out, there's an area I want to go back to. I want to talk about some more, a couple things that I discovered on the maps. Okay, so uh, hopefully by then the rain shower will push on through. Alright. Now I will say this though, man, after a rain shower, and if you're in, if you're really into the good parts of the swamp after a rain shower, man, you feel like you are in the movie Predator. It's just everything gle everything's gleaming and shining. And it's almost like, you know, you're there in the movie with those guys. You have to hold the camera a little bit back or it's gonna get wet. All right, so it looks like the rain has tapered off, and we got blue skies again, and that's a good deal. And and uh, just want to have a, a, a small little thing. All right, so I'm back in the same location again, because uh, based upon what I was finding on some Google Earth studying that I was doing last night. Okay, <clears throat> right about behind me. Right, I want to say back that away through all this stuff, through all that. Half a mile. Half a mile up in there is a humongous like a ridge. Big humongous ridge. Goes up to 167 feet in elevation. And that is worthy of interest. 
because if you can get up to 167, 166, 160 ish in this area, that means it is dry. It's dry ground. And so I think we can make it all the way back up in there. We're going to do have we're going to have to do some leapfrogging and hopscotching in and around these cypress swamps, going around them. But we'll find a way to get back up in there. We'll go find out what's there on the ground. It might be just a natural terrain feature or or not. I'm I'm expecting to see a natural terrain feature though. But um, yeah, that's what it is. Never been back up in there either. Yeah, it's very gnarly. Mm -hmm. 